Real estate trends show that more than ever, the kitchen is the most important room in the house. It's where we enjoy meals, share stories with our families, and entertain friends. Today on Ready, Set, Renovate, we see how one couple breathes new life into the heart of their home. Right in the middle of one of Florida's most exclusive golf communities is a stunning 10,000 square foot estate. Dane and Judy Cornell have called this home for nearly two decades. While they love the size and location, they were ready to make some changes. They began with a backyard overhaul that took nearly eight months and included a new pool and larger cabana. Now they're heading inside for phase two. Hey, Dane, are you sure you're ready for this? <laughs> Well, the inside's her expertise, so okay. I'm hoping that her, you know, my involvement's uh, little to none in the inside. Because <laughs> the outside was, uh, it was fun, but, but as Judy said, it, was, it took a little longer than we anticipated. So what is your goal in here? I mean, this is already a beautiful kitchen, some gorgeous cabinetry. What is it you want to accomplish? Well, we want to open it up a little bit more. This is almost a 20-year-old home, so uh, and it's country French, which was not an open plan. And we're gonna open plan it. Lots of family are visiting all the time and we do Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners. And so we're just trying to open it up and larger island and lighten up the cabinets to more like a cream. The floor we're gonna keep the same. Love our travertine stone floor. So the walls uh, where the backsplash is, that's gonna be more of a cobalt blue. It isn't just the kitchen, the area over here with your breakfast table and the mudroom, that's all changing too. Correct. When you come into our back hall area, we've noticed that we really needed a, like a mudroom look where you sit down, put your shoes on, place for your purse and keys, that kind of thing. So that will all change in there. I see the whole family in here and that's really why we kind of wanted a new kitchen because for some reason, when I'm over there cooking, everyone's around this counter. So um, I envision we have more space for those people to hang around. My grandsons all like to watch me cook, so that's, in, that's important to me. And help you. They do, they help me. <laughs> and so I think there's just more room, especially for groups that we entertain. Now everything will go straight to the dining room or over to the family room or out to the pool. So it just sort of like, I think if the rooms are more open, it invites people to move out of the kitchen a little bit where I can have some room to cook. With a budget of $500,000 and a timeline of five months, Dane and Judy have high hopes that they'll be finished in time to host their family for the holidays. You're gonna be disappointed if this doesn't happen in time for Thanksgiving. Yes, I, yeah. will, I will be because I think we've, we've planned for it really well. We know things can happen. Uh, not just from that pool experience, but we've done other projects. So we know, we kind of take into our, into our minds that it's not gonna be perfect. And mm -hmm. so we, we'll just live with it, and, but we'll have that as a goal because uh, again, Thanksgiving's important to us. The layout of the kitchen won't change dramatically, but they'll achieve the flow they want with some adjustments to the surrounding walls. This is the main thing that's going to yes. change and make this space so much more open. What's going to happen here? Well, this whole wall will go away. So the walkthrough will be so much easier because now all we have left is that back wall and that's turning into our coffee bar. But this is a support structure is, right here. So is. what has to happen? Well, they'll make some support beams that will go up in the attic to support these two columns, they'll be smaller mm -hmm. and it'll go straight over behind where the breakfast bar is. Okay, so this definitely is not just a kitchen renovation. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Yes. In addition to removing the wall, they'll reduce the size of the columns leading into the family room and give the faux paint an update. But before any demo work can begin, project manager Ryan St. John has another big job in front of him. Site protection is almost as important as the job itself. We yeah. spend an entire day prior to the demo starting just setting up all of the plastic and floor protection to protect the house itself. Well, so today we're gonna start actually demoing the kitchen, start removing our cabinets, starting to open up the walls and see if everything's the way it's drawn on plans or if we have any unexpected surprises. We'll be here for about a week during the demo process if everything goes smoothly. 
The team makes quick work of moving the cabinets out of the kitchen and into the garage. The Cornells are donating the existing materials to Habitat for Humanity. So today, a team of volunteers from Ryder Truck will load and deliver the items to a local Habitat Restore. Not everybody knows what a Restore is, but it's really, it's a fantastic outlet store for new and used, or gently used we'll call it, right. home items, and it might be furniture, it might be lighting fixtures, it might be cabinetry, it might be you name it, anything for a house. When you buy something at a Restore, it really helps out a lot. Anytime you, you make a purchase, you make a donation, you're helping somebody build a home, provide affordable, sustainable housing. Donations like these cabinets from the Cornells make a, make a huge difference. That sounds like a win, win, win to me. <laughs> it, it really is, it really is. Back inside, things aren't going quite as yeah, well for the construction uh, team. Yeah. yeah, but there'd be a lot of stuff that have to be moved. I'm just going to say, we'd have to move this return and every whole ceiling would have to come out. One of the main walls that we're moving inside of the kitchen, we found that there's a plumbing stack and a main plumbing supply line leading up to two of the bathrooms upstairs. And we've also found that there's a column in that wall that was not drawn on the plans that is supporting one of the beams for the second floor there. So we've got to bring our engineer in and start to figure out exactly how we're going to deal with that situation. Coming up next on Ready, Set, Renovate. The whole second floor could end up right here in the yeah, middle of the kitchen. Yeah, we could end up with a bigger <laughs> remodel than we were planning don't on. Don't do that. I don't know everything about construction, but don't do that. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hart from Ready, Set, Renovate, here today with my good friend Tat Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates. Tat, you're always bringing us great information, but today you have great deals. We do. We have a great deal today. Thanks to one of our manufacturers, they're giving us a tremendous upgrade opportunity for everyone who moves forward with a window project and moves forward with an energy efficient glass pack. They're going to upgrade it at no additional charge with a free sound and security glass pack. So it's a tremendous value. If we call now, we can still have time to get installed for this season. Hey guys, we're here with Tat Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates today in Ocala, Florida, where more than 90% of the hurricane impact glass in the entire state is made. Thanks for being here with us today, Tat. I'm glad I could be here. This has been a great day. This glass goes into the windows that you install around the state, correct? Yes, definitely. A lot of the windows that we do, and, and for over a decade now, we've had a great relationship with this manufacturing facility, so it's been a great, great partnership. We've had a tour of the facility today. It's pretty incredible. They have created a superior product here. We love the relationship we have with custom window systems. Their attention to detail and making a great product and making sure that the families and homes in Florida are safe is, is second to none. We're actually standing right here by some glass that has just been insulated or is getting insulated. Is that right? Yeah, these just came out. I, I believe these were just filled with the argon gas. These are hurricane impact glass units that have uh, the argon gas as well as the solar max technology, which reflects the heat away to make the home uh, that much more comfortable. It is fascinating to see the edge of this. And you have basically the three layers on the outer edge. You have the glass, and then in the middle, that's the layer that really is crucial, right? The Hurricane Impact Glass that's also energy efficiency has the layer of impact protection, which is glass, with a PVV vinyl inner layer in between with another piece of glass. Then it has the sealer, which has the argon gas, and then a sacrificial piece of glass as well. So you really, most folks don't see how thick that unit is and why it provides so much energy efficiency. Yeah, when you see it like this and you feel it, just the heaviness, the sturdiness of it, you can be assured that you're going to be safe in a hurricane. Custom window systems have been on the uh, innovative side for over a decade now where they've really been pushing energy efficiency. So um, they do a fantastic job. Great product and you are one of their top installers around the state. So that's a win-win for the homeowner. It sure is. All right. Thanks so much. Tat Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates. When a friend tells you they settled their injury claim for $50,000, you might think that was good. But what if another law firm wouldn't have taken less than $500,000? If someone sold a brand new Mercedes for $10,000, you'd know they got ripped off. Many people injured in accidents get ripped off every day by the insurance company and their own lawyer. Visit ForThePeople.com to see our verdicts against the last offer that was made. Huge differences. There are many firms, but only one. Morgan & Morgan. For the people. Goodwill's Job Junction are free, full-service career centers designed to help you find a job. All locations are open Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Donate. Shop. Jobs. Good will come from this. Each week, Channel 4 recognizes the ViStar All-Star Athlete. 
If you'd like to nominate a high school athlete who excels in the classroom and in the community, go to the News4Jacks.com sports page and click on All-Star Athlete. His eyes are open, but I don't think he's awake. 25 years young, with the world at his fingertips, dead. No drugs or alcohol found in his system, but something else was found in his car. We accidentally killed himself for $29.99. Exposing the over-the-counter killer labeled as an organic pain reliever and mood booster. Uncovering why a drug with more victims than vaping is still on store shelves near your family. Organic Killer, Monday starting at 6 on News 4 Jax. In the first few days of construction, the Cornells can already see their vision coming to life. We want to open up not only the kitchen, but we want to open up the kitchen to the dining room. We want to open up the kitchen to the family room and have more of that open floor plan. When the team begins removing the wall for the new layout, project manager Ryan St. John runs into a major roadblock. We found a drain line and a main water supply line for two right. of the bathrooms upstairs that are buried here that weren't shown on our plan. So we're gonna have to relocate those. That's this right here, right? Correct, that is yeah. the drain line. The copper beside it is the, the plumbing line that's supplying water upstairs. So okay. yeah, those will need to get moved into the columns that we're hiding over in the uh, family room side over there. Right, so this was all cabinetry before. It was a little walkway and it had Correct. cabinetry on either side. So that's all been removed. And you have left the support beams up until you figure out what has to happen up here, right? Correct. We always knew that these were bearing walls here, but this column here is bearing on a truss up in the ceiling, and that was not shown on the plan. So that oh, is great. where we've got to bring the engineer in, yeah, and, and figure out how we're going to now make that span and, and carry the weight that's being there. So this beam right here is basically supporting the second floor, right? Uh, it's one of them, yes, correct. There are, there's a further one back there, and then the front actual block wall of the house is carrying it, but this is one in the center that's carrying part of that span. So we're going to have to relocate that, hopefully, to this wall here, but that's what the engineer is going to have to tell us. This is holding up thousands and thousands of pounds, so don't mess this up, Yes, right? correct, yeah. <laughs> we can't take that out until we get that all figured out. The whole second floor could end up right here in the yeah, middle of the kitchen. Yeah, we could end up with a bigger <laughs> remodel than we were planning. With a green light from the engineer, they move ahead and cut into the concrete slab, making way for a new footer or reinforcement that will help secure the required load-bearing beam. After several days of work, the second floor is fully supported and the old beam can come down. While they're happy they'll have the open floor plan they wanted, the extra time, mess, and disruption have been a challenge for Dana and Judy. I was shocked when I came in here and saw my kitchen. We lost a week. They had to come in here with, uh, with uh, stone cutters and go through that whole thing, move the pipe over to one of our new columns. We're a little bit fatigued with it. Um, the bathrooms, half of them don't work. Um, it's half the showers don't work. It's frustrating at this point. With the structural issues finally behind them, the team kicks into high gear to make up for lost time. Uh, so today we're finishing drywall in these areas to get everything patched up so the cabinets can go on top of the walls and be ready to be installed. Uh, cabinets are being installed in the laundry room, the powder bathroom, and the wet bar area so those areas can be completed and ready for countertop. After all the drywall has been prepped, the team begins removing the crown molding as the new cabinets will extend all the way to the ceiling. Oh, fine, just go a little bit. There you go. Okay. Good job, Juan. The first set of cabinets for the coffee bar go in without any issues. Okay. Good, good. Yes, yeah. yeah. But okay. when they start working yeah. on the island, something isn't adding up. The Mark's problem, it's way over here, and then it puts the island way over here. It's like there's 10 inches added there or something. After remeasuring, they discovered the problem was with the plans, which hadn't been updated. After a couple of weeks, the kitchen is really starting to take shape. You have cabinets. We do. Wow. It is, uh, it's finally coming together. You can actually see the kitchen and what wow. it's gonna be now for them. And countertops are actually coming in today. So the, the kitchen itself will start to really be formally shaped and ready to go. The other thing I love in here, this, is, this was wood before and they replaced this. This is 
Cast stone? Uh, yeah, it's a natural stone called scagliola is scagliola. the name of it. So it okay. is still cast, okay. but um, it, it, it's actually a natural stone product, whereas a precast is sort of a concrete that's poured and formed into a mold. So I gotta say, um, this actually looks like you're close to being done. We are, we're probably four to six weeks from completion here. So what is left to do? Uh, we still have appliances to come in. Okay. We're gonna have um, all of our plumbing fixtures that will need to come in. Uh, lighting fixtures that will come in, and then our general trim and paint out of the entire um, area. So we've still got some woodwork that'll happen, painting of all of that to go in, and our final electrical touches. Awesome, I'm gonna let them know that you're guaranteeing they'll be here for Thanksgiving dinner, Ryan. Absolutely, right. thank you so much. <laughs> nice job, man. All right, thank you. With the cabinets in place, the team is ready to install the quartzite countertops. First, they polish the edges, then they carefully move the first piece inside. To limit the number of seams, each section of countertop is very large and heavy, making this a tough job. Coming up next on Ready, Set, Renovate, we see the faux painting get a rustic refresh. And, and you want to leave little spaces yeah, like this. Because yeah, because that's what leaves these little spaces of character, which is what we're trying to create. Now when you paint that, it looks like a very custom plaster finish. When faced with Hurricane Michael, one product stood strong. Our windows help that house survive by withstanding an impact. The testing protocol calls for the product to be impacted by some form of windborne debris, flying debris. Then it has to get cycled with negative and positive pressure 4,500 times one way, 4,500 times the other way. And then the window still has to operate after that. Our windows were hit by windborne debris. The glass cracked, but the windows still operated. They did what they were supposed to do and protected the home. To learn more about custom window systems, visit cws.cc. Adventure awaits, but first you must choose. Pick a next level flavor, neither will lose. I pick Smokehouse Cheddar. I pick Southwest Chipotle. I love this game. How are we getting home? This is home. Take yourself on a taste adventure with the new Smokehouse Cheddar Barbecue and Southwest Chipotle Filet Sandwich Meals for a limited time only at Zaxby's. And don't miss Jumanji The Next Level, only in theaters. Fluid started building up around her heart and her lungs and her lung collapsed. She was placed in the highest level of the NICU. She was back there with the most severe patients. After the first couple of days, she started showing signs of improvement. It was absolutely amazing. Wolfson saved her life. Barbara had her five-year-old birthday in May. She's perfect. Name the top spot for veterans to live. That's a Duval thing. A dinosaur on Beach Boulevard? That's a Duval thing. And a morning team who invests time to tell you stories you won't get anywhere else. Who help you get around traffic tie-ups with Time Saver Traffic. And sends News 4 Jack's breaking news alerts to your phone so you can help keep your family safe. Who works to get your day started right? You guessed it. The Morning Show on Channel 4, the local station. Do It's month four of the Cornell's renovation and the team is getting close to the finish line. With the repair work on the stone floors complete, the new appliances, as well as Judy's existing gas stove, will go in today. And you've had this for going on two decades now. You're kind of connected and bonded yes, to this stove. Yes, she is my friend. We work real well <laughs> together. Working around the new high-end cabinets and countertops makes the coffee machine install tricky. But with a little finesse, it's in. And the Cornells can start thinking about that first cup of joe in their new kitchen. Meanwhile, project manager Ryan works through the remaining items on his punch list. We'll still have to trim out electrical. All of the light fixtures have changed inside of the kitchen. All of the cans and lighting gets changed out. All of the switches are being redone. Um, all of our plumbing fixtures will have to still be installed. We're repainting the entire area as well, so our painter will get in at the very end and do all of that. The faux paint has been here since the house was built in the late 1990s. Artist Brian McNally will give the walls an update, but make sure the look remains true to the rustic old world style of the home. 
So Brian, we're down to the final few touches on this renovation and one of the remaining things, and it's a big job, is the paint and the texture on the walls. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about what they're going for here. Okay, it, this is a French house and it's not a contemporary house. It's mm -hmm. very traditional French. Wall texture is traditionally a plastered finish and that's what we're trying to achieve. In these old like French country homes, yes. it, it's this very kind of weathered look. It would be parched. It actually be, it could be over stone, straw, whatever, and that's what gives it like a lumpy kind of effect, and the finishing would generally be with some sort of lime plaster. Okay. And now they have synthetics out there that do the exact same thing, where homeowners can tackle it. It's, it's a very easy process to do. Okay, so okay. Let's, let's see it. Okay, this is... Take a generous yep. amount, okay. and you okay. just go like this, mm -hmm. and that's basically it, and then you just knock it back flat. What you want to do is you want to get it heavy enough where it, it, it buries this texture. Right. You don't want that texture to come through. And then the next one you come through and you would leave a space. And that's where we have this texture that comes I through. Gotcha. Even okay. this stuff, see how that just kind of just came off of it? Mm -hmm. That's great. Right. Because that creates character. Okay, very cool. It will take about two weeks to add the new texture to the walls and refresh the trim. Once everything is dry, the team tends to the last details, confident they'll meet their deadline. We're actually hoping we'll be done in plenty of time for them to get everything back in, groceries ready, and Thanksgiving dinner to be had here. That is, unless there's a change order in Ryan's future. Coming up next on Ready, Set, Renovate. And they put the island in, I came home and I said, that island is way too big. And so we're, Judy and I were thinking, well, how do we cut it? How much should we cut it down and what have you? And it's custom built. If you know a person or organization that deserves to be recognized for their efforts to make Jacksonville a better place to live, nominate them for our Positively Jacks Award. Go to the Community tab on newsfordjacks.com and click on Positively Jacks. Positively Jacks is brought to you by Land Rover Jacksonville. Want to see your favorite Channel 4 newscasts when you're on the go? No problem. You can watch News 4 Jacks live anytime, right on your desktop, phone, or tablet. Get clear viewing. Sponsored by the law offices of Jason Porter. I'm attorney Jason Porter, and I help people get the money they deserve when they've been injured in an accident. When you're hurt, put your trust in me. Your consultation is free. And unless we get money for you, you don't pay any legal fees. Injured, pick Porter. After a five-month renovation of their kitchen and main living area, the Cornells are thrilled to be back in the home they love. I mean, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it turned out great. Wow, it's so beautiful and it's, Amazing how just the removal of that one wall made such a difference and it's so much more open. Yes, we're kind of having a hard time getting used to this openness, but we love it. In our first interview, you said that when you're preparing a big meal for a holiday, that everyone seems to congregate in the kitchen and you can't even move around because they're right on top of you. Do you think they have a little more space now to spread out? They do. Yeah. They have a lot of this mm -hmm. and I think they'll still try to go around the island some. But um, I think I'm just going to appreciate all that we put into it when I see how much everyone else will appreciate it when they get here for Thanksgiving. We're already preparing a menu. We have more people coming than we normally do because they all want to see the new kitchen. Dane, what is your favorite thing in the new kitchen? Well, a little story behind it. So when they okay. brought the island in and I came home and I said, that island is way too big. Judy and I were thinking, well, how do we cut it? How much should we cut it down and what have you? And it's custom built. Right. And it took, whatever, six months to get it built, to get it in here. So the uh, cabinet people said, just live with it for a little bit. Just get used to it because it's so much different than what you had. So we've lived with it for probably three months now yeah. that it's been in. And I absolutely love it. It's, it nailed it for the kitchen for me. I love this countertop now because we do a lot of buffet style. Mm -hmm. serving and so before I never had enough space. Now between this space, the space behind you and the space over here at the coffee bar, we have plenty of room. Before the coffee area was behind me 
and there was a um, microwave above that. So we tried to move everything over here almost like an entertaining area. So if you're entertaining, you could have appetizers there or desserts, and we wanted to make it look more like a piece of antique furniture. Mm -hmm. So we, that's why we stained it a different color than the rest of the kitchen. I think my favorite thing is the blue backsplash. Mm -hmm. I just think that makes everything pop and come together with the color that I love so much. It feels so much brighter mm -hmm. just right. from yeah. opening up the, the uh, walls and some of the color changes that we've done to the walls and things. It's, I think it flows well. It was really important to you that the cabinets go all the way up to the ceiling. We had any kind of accessory you could think of before above the cabinetry, which was probably 12 inches from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And that's just too much dust and cleaning, so right. we, that's the main reason we went to the ceiling. And then I have so much um, glass art that I thought that it would be beautiful to bring it in here instead of behind cabinets, right. where that's where it was stored before. Tell me about this laundry area in the mudroom, because that's, for, you say mudroom, and, and that's not what comes to most people's mind. That is spectacular. Well, we picked that tile on that wall first, and that really drove all of these colors in here. And um, before it was just a, a stucco wall, and then we had a desk there that is now like a mudroom bench where you can come in, take your shoes off, store them underneath the bench, and then made uh, each side of that cabinetry to match the island color. We took the cabinetry out and had a piece custom made that looks like a piece of furniture and then changed the top to quartz and then wallpapered the back only, just that one wall. And that really made a difference to see the wallpaper, not all in the whole room, but just on that one wall. And I think, you know, Judy and I making the decision to uh, renovate this house to where, how we like to use it. I think we made the right choice in doing what we did here and really we're very comfortable here and we're that much more comfortable now that it's sort of renovated and uh, updated the way we want it. I think it's going to be fantastic. If you would like more information about Ready, Set, Renovate, please visit us at ReadySetRenovate.net. Associates today in Ocala, Florida, and we're seeing something absolutely fascinating. The majority of the impact glass in the state of Florida is produced right here. Yeah, right here in Ocala, Florida, is the is it's like the birthplace of impact glass here. Right, we're actually seeing this machine right behind us infuse the argon glass into the impact window, right? Yeah, this is where the energy efficiency comes from. Once you have the laminated glass, which is the impact protection, the hurricane protection, goes into this chamber, gets filled with the argon gas, and then comes out a sealed unit. These are custom window systems. It's one of the great products that Florida Home Improvement Associates distributes. And in fact, you install so many windows and you have such a great relationship with custom window systems that you have your very own line here that's being made in the factory. Yeah, that was pretty cool to see this huge facility and how many people work here and how many windows they distribute throughout the year. And to see our own dedicated lines just for the folks we get to meet and the folks we get to help throughout the year. Uh, it's pretty impressive, their dedication to the service for our companies. We appreciate it. It's a good relationship for you, too, because you can build the best window ever known to man, but if it isn't installed correctly, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we've really worked really well together over the last decade and more. Um, they've always had innovative products, not only just from a hurricane protection standpoint, but they've always pushed the envelope to make these products more energy efficient, so they're more useful to us as Florida homeowners year-round. You know, we don't know when the next hurricane is going to be, but we certainly know when our next utility bill will come. So um, we're appreciative of them, and they, and they love the way we handle the customer service and the installation and the warranties they put together for us to make sure that homeowners never have to worry about anything again is really special. This one is all packaged up. Some lucky Florida homeowner is going to get this beautiful window. If you'd like more information about products like this, you can head over to FHAProducts.com. See you guys next time.